Well, look who decided to show back on YouTube. You got a lot of nerve, Frederick. Hello, Bidgets. By the way, you have until May 15th to buy charity masks on our website. Each time you buy a mask, we're also donating one to a worker in need. None of us make money. This is a charity, unlike some other YouTubers. And it's free shipping, and there's over 100 designs, and you should pick mine, because mine's the best. <laughs> but seriously, I am sorry I could not upload last week. If you follow my Twitter, you know that I had finals week. I finished my first year and my first semester of Zoom College. Oh my god, it's so sad to think about still. But yeah, I had a lot of bullshit projects that I'm finally done with. I have an open no physics test next week that I'm not even studying for. I have not been to the last six lectures because I don't need it. I'm a natural genius and it is open no exam. So I am prioritizing sleep over it. I don't know who said this. I don't even know if someone said it, but I get the feeling that a lot of people are judging me for my hair this past month. I'm not saying you came for me, but I, I do feel a little bit shafted by you today. When? I don't remember the exact comment you said, but earlier I do feel like you were you were saying, I don't even know, but I, I just, I, I felt a little hurt by you earlier. And all that I have to say is, who am I going to impress? I should not be held at this higher standard of always looking beautiful on camera, because guess what, I always am on camera. But if you can get away with laying in bed all day, not exercising, not doing your skincare, and not even caring about how you look, then I should be able to have slightly green, slightly brown, <laughs> slightly fading hair. I'm finding the comment and putting it up here, by the way. So my roots are very long, if you can't tell. Like, <laughs> let's get a very uncomfortably close look at that. You go from black to brown to like a brownish green. There's hints of yellow, gray, even blue. All around, very rotten is what it looks like. And I'm tired of the judgment, okay? I am tired of being judged on camera. I am ready to ruin my hair yet again. You think I only monetize my suffering? No, I monetize my hair suffering. But I am blessed with my mom's genetics. Look, look at this. Beautiful luscious hair that's still intact. Liza Minnelli, lies. So let's ruin it now. I'm familiar with this stuff. So I figured that I'm probably gonna be bleaching my hair for the next lifetime. So I went ahead and bought this Wella 28.2 ounce. It's a lot of white powder. No, it is not a drug, but I am very attracted to this powder. And I've never done this before, nor have I watched a YouTube tutorial because I'm stubborn <laughs> and I am admitting it. But what I wanna do today is get rid of all my roots Maybe she's born with it, or maybe he's conceited. I also want to get rid of this green tinge that's been happening on my hair. I think when I first bleached it, I never got it to that really good level of like white. So I'm going to basically bleach my whole head again, including my roots. Might have to bleach my roots twice. I don't know, but we'll see. Look at all that bleach. Beautiful. I'm partially scared of inhaling this and accidentally like ruining my lung system. But then again, every other Gen Z kid has already ruined their lungs. That's right, I'm calling you out. Stop being dumb on TikTok. And I'm gonna use my tried and true gloves that I have used for over a year now and they have yet to break. That just shows how professional I am and how good I am at this and how I rightfully deserve a cosmetology license even though I have yet to go to school for it and I'm not gonna go to school for it. The bleach smells like flowers to me. So you would think I would do the roots first but that's still not a good idea. I feel like here you can really tell how bad it looks. Like that is not silver anymore. Anti-yellow molecules, we will see about that. It can lift up to seven levels. Definitely don't believe that. A ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 1.5. Is it bleach that's 1 or is it bleach that's 1.5? I don't know. You didn't specify. Okay, I'm going to start with a 1 to 1 ratio and see what I need more of after that. It's like baking. <laughs> Look, I even flattened it for you guys. And I'm using Tony Developer because I'm not allowed to buy any other developer at the moment. Seeing as though my dad does not want me to go to the Sally Beauties literally five minutes away. Good thing I have two bottles. It smells great, honestly. Mix, mix, mix. And just as I assumed, I definitely need more developer than this. See how it looks so far? Ooh, open a door, god damn. I guess mixing releases the ammonia or something, but I thought it smelled good before the mixing. All right, this is a nice consistency. Why do I know that? I don't know, it just looks nice. I'm gravitating towards this yogurt texture, so I think I'm ready to start. I always forget which way is the best way. I mean, I know halfway through I give up, but I still want to try. I'm gonna start off at the top just because I feel like it needs more lightening than the bottom, and then I'll get all the roots after. Not even intimidated. I am gonna make a video about this, but I just want to talk about my first year at college. Let me pretend I care. Okay, I'm done. Because I know a good amount of you guys are incoming freshmen and you probably want to know what your classes are going to be like. So if you're new here and don't know anything, I go to NYU. I am an integrated digital media major at Tandon, which is the engineering school. And this semester was half in person, half online. And let me just say, this semester sucked 
ass. Not even ass, no, so what's worse? Micro penis, there we go. And it's not because it was online, it was because the teachers didn't really teach me. And that might sound appealing to anyone in high school, like, oh my God, teachers that give you free grades, amazing. But not when you're paying $200 a class. You know, not when you waste a whole day doing nothing and you end up wasting $200 each day because your teacher said, we're not gonna have class today for no reason because it's online. And I'm talking about the classes I genuinely want to do. Like physics, yes, give me a good grade because you know what I'm not gonna do with my life? Physics. But design classes, like, Making a website, learning how to code, that's stuff I need to know in order to put that on my portfolio and resume. And I'm not confident to put any of my work this semester on it because the teacher did not teach and it was their first year teaching. And I'm like, well, to me, if you want to be able to get to a professor level, you know, at a private school, you should be trained to teach. And I'm not trying to shame this teacher. I'm like, I get it. It was your first time. You tried it out, but I'm sorry. My education is on the line. Come into class prepared to teach, not like freestyling it, okay? Because I'm paying her for this education and I don't think it was worth $200 a class, guys. Because you know what she did? She told me, go to this website that teaches you all the code. I'm like, that was free. I could have learned this all online through YouTube and Google. Why do I pay you $200 to tell me to go to YouTube and look at a video? Like it makes no sense. So a little bit upset about that. My friends are two. We had to do a course evaluation at the end, which was like basically we grade our professors and we tell them like what they did and did not do. And let's just say, I don't think they're gonna pass the course evaluation. <laughs> If you guys want to see more of my work, like I might make a video about it. I just don't know if people would watch. So could you just click this card right here? Like if you don't want to watch it, please click this card and tell me so. I need everyone to participate. Oh my God, it's lifting so fast. I totally forgot my hair looked like that. All right, I think it's time to go a little bit down the roots. I don't have black dye or like a dark blue dye, but I do want to learn how to get roots. Like I want it to fade from dark to light silver. I don't want brown to silver. I want black to silver. Can Brad Mondo teach me? Either way, I'm giving Brad Mondo all the content he needs during quarantine. So you're welcome. <laughs> you owe me a tutorial on how to do your roots like the way I said. Not gonna go to my scalp. No, I am gonna go to my scalp. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Who am I kidding? Scalp is the best. It's never burned my scalp. Like, why not? I need it to get to the very edge. I can't see that far, so I'm hoping I'm getting that part. Where's Kiana when you need her? Also, I am gonna cut my hair like two days after this, so I don't care if it gets on the other ends. I'm also very close to shaving my head. And hear me out, okay? Remember, this is just like shaving my eyebrows. By the way, they've grown back. My hair's been ruined for a while. I'm also curious, do you guys like the brown hair that I had? Like, you know, the brown highlights that was like, ooh, he's so fancy. Or do you like my silver hair? I don't know which one I like more. Cause while I do think silver hair is cool, I enjoyed washing my hair every two days. Now it's like wash it once every five or six or else your hair color is just gonna go away. And I wanna be able to work out and be able to wash my hair without caring about how it looks after. Cause my highlights weren't colored, like it was actually bleached and it just happened to fade to like a perfect brown and now I can't work out without thinking about this you're in the way now you were preventing me from getting my hot ass body and that is my excuse for not working out I'm almost out of bleach but I really don't think I've touched those roots at all so I might make some more even though I'm basically out of developer there's also another reason I'm doing my hair and it's because my dad is gonna let me go to Wegmans eventually I'm getting let out of the house to do grocery shopping <laughs> we need groceries and my dad was like you want to go for a drink I know you haven't been out in like what 58 days I was like yes please let me go I've never wanted to shop for potatoes more I can't tell you how excited I was to make a grocery list like that has not happened to me in a while thanks dad oh i didn't even get the spot yet if this all goes wrong by the way like my hair eventually falls off because this has been bleached technically four times now then i buzz it off clean slate new start look like a monk for a few months you know who's not going to be looking at me in person my boyfriend because he doesn't exist yet so why bother what happens if you put bleach on a pimple no, I won't try it. Uh, okay, missing a spot here. Okay, missing a lot of spots then. Great, excellent, that's just what I need. I want you to know I started the recording again by using the end of this. Pro tip for those who do not have an automatic camera that resets. Do you guys see this, that gap? That's gross. Why did I let my roots grow out that much? And if my roots have grown out that much, why does my hair look longer? It looks the same length still. Does it flake off in my sleep? I don't know. Is this turning orange a little? I think so. Ugh, that means I need toner. I don't think I have toner. 
and I'm out of bleach. I'm gonna make one more batch, and I think this is going to be the last of my developer. Oh my god, I don't even have enough developer. This is gonna suck. I didn't think it would get worse, but it's getting worse. Oh, but what's new on this channel? Don't act like you don't like it when I fail. Go ahead, laugh now. Tomorrow, I'll have a buzz cut. I also love how the way my hair looks can emotionally affect someone else on the internet. I bet there's some people who would cry if I shaved my head. <laughs> Me, my mom, 40% of my audience. What do I do now? It's not mixing. Mm. Put water? No, Brad Mondo said water will just dilute the bleach. I'm just gonna have to put this extremely thick paste on. I don't even have developer for the hair dye. I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping tomorrow and Sally's looking like this. Good thing I have a bucket hat, guys. Proof that bucket hats save lives. Do you see this paste? Do you see this paste? You see how thick that is? Not what you want in bleach. Oh, this is diabolically bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. I really wanted this to go well. I had a good run. It's okay. Can't win them all, guys. Sometimes you just gotta bite the dust and shave your head off. <laughs> there are so many places that I have not put bleach in. Like, oh my god. I need to figure out a method for next time. I don't think top to bottom is gonna work from now on. Is this orange? Guys, why? How does it turn orange? Like, what? It was bleached before. How do you get orange from nothing? That either means I bleached it wrong the first time or I'm bleaching it wrong now. I thought Brad said it doesn't matter if you put bleach over colored hair, it just lightens it again. The mass on my head is so thick, I can't lift my hair now. You guys, ugh, oh, it's too thick. <laughs> this is overwhelmingly bad. Let's get the rest in my hands. Just shimmy it on in there. Really get it in those nooks and crannies. I know everyone has told me the lather method does not work, but God damn it, I got a lather. Or at least push it in there. Get it all covered, please. Technically I've been doing this for like almost 30 minutes already. I'm gonna wait 20 more just to be safe. My head's kind of dizzy from, from not opening this door. And it's very heavy on my head. Like I can feel the weight. See you guys soon. There's no water in there. Much later. I'm back and a little more bloated because I had two pieces of pizza. That balances it out. <laughs> Looking at it, I know I shouldn't touch it with my hands, but I'm going to. Uh, it's not that orange anymore. It's definitely yellow. Definitely got the roots a little bit. Um, we'll see what it looks like. Does anyone have that one towel they've ruined? Because I sure do. So, um... <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. It's very orange. I don't know how this happened, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I heard from Brad that if you let the bleach go on your scalp too long, it can make it orange. But I'm like, how else was I gonna touch up my roots? <laughs> Granted, it is 20 developer, not 30 or 40. I didn't expect it to be white, but this is not enough. Uh, I won't have to go through another round of this. <laughs> I have no developer. Give it one day to recover, cause I know that's how much my hair needs. <laughs> We've done it before, we can do this again hair. This is very close to white, so I am proud of that. And it'll definitely be lighter once it's dry. I'm gonna let it air dry, go to sleep, wake up, check in on you guys. If it still gives me Donald Trump realness, I will go to Sally Beauty. And I will definitely wear a bucket hat, trust and believe me. Good night, America. Much, much later. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 2 p.m., I just got out of bed. This is actually much lighter than I thought it'd be, so that's good. Just some criticism though, I definitely need to bleach my roots one more time at least. I don't know if you can see, this area right here still doesn't want to be white. Like this is fine, this side's not. And that was the same thing that happened with my silver hair. It was like all silver and then brown silver right here. I'm probably just gonna bleach my whole head again, but like focus on the roots and this part. But I need developer first, and I happen to be going grocery shopping today and Sally's is right next door. It's gonna take a little stop by. Gonna put on a bucket hat so I look presentable. I wonder what I would look like without any bangs, like if I hid everything up in here. I mean, kind of stupid, really stupid. What if I just did this? Um, not bad, but like it's orange. I need another hat. All right, we're gonna be going for, I'm most likely a stalker. This is fine, you can't see half of my face. If they ask me to show my head, I'll just decline because I'll say you don't want to see my head. All right, I will see you when I come back from shopping. One eternity later. You want to hear something really funny? I went grocery shopping. I saw a line of 50 people and I thought that is not worth my time. Vegan chili can wait another week. So I didn't go shopping. I went across the street to Sally Beauty and the sign said temporary closed. Check the website for more information. So I just drove. <laughs> and went back home. Nothing else, I didn't even go out of the car. So I ordered developer, more dye, and even more toner. But those aren't coming in for a week, so 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to see more of my sufferings. I love monetizing it. I was hoping for this bright silver hair with dark blue navy streaks going through it. Nope. Not today. You're stuck looking like a lot of different anime characters combined in one. Or that one Asian kid in middle school who thought it'd be cool to dye half his hair. Like, I don't know why everyone thinks this is cool looking. This looks gross. It's orange. No one likes orange. I don't have anything else to upload, so you're gonna have to deal with this. I'm just gonna go stream Animal Crossing now, so I love you guys and everything is less than three. Leave a comment down below about what anime character you think I look like.